Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the bedroom as we are returning to season three, episode 18. Yes, we are still in season three of Lucifer, where Lucifer has realized he might have made a mistake in how he deals with his relationship with Chloe. How many years now have they been working together, interacting with each other? And he's now figuring it out. I know he's millennia old and still acts like a child. <sighs> I still think it's funny though, that when Aminadale is talking to Pierce and is like, look at Chloe and Lucifer, you could have something like this. Pierce went, I could have that, exactly, that. That's what I want, exactly. And he went for it. Gotta give him credit though, he went for it. So do they actually hook up for a while? Don't tell me yet, I'll find out, but do they actually hook up for a bit? And Maze is being extra, 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 extra stubborn. She, in turn, I don't think is being as good a friend to Linda as Linda was being to Maze. Will that relationship mend? Mm -hmm. We'll have to watch and find out. So I am going to look around. I'm going to find my glasses. Yes, I am. I'm going to have my water. I'm losing my voice, so I have my water handy. And there's a tiny bit of a chill in the air, so I was able to bust out. Yay, it's the big cozy blanket. It's been a while. I hope you have your favorite beverages as well. And you're going to remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And also that the full episode watch along is available on Patreon, where I'm watching Resident Alien, Great British Bake Off. Oh my gosh, the bread episode. But yeah, I want to see you there as well. But if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's get to it. You gotta have faith, because life can surprise you. Now, if my brother, the devil, can have that, maybe I can too. Exactly that. Oh. Fun? And he's in a suit. Oh, are we in the past? We are in Kane's past i'm thinking well you want to take a break and buy me a drink not really no <laughs> so he's been a police officer watching these women try to get your attention before i don't know what i'm gonna do when you finally say yes to one of them never gonna say yes oh yeah because somebody already stole your heart mm. it's just not in the cards for me we gotta go detective duty calls <laughs> so what has always made Kane become Detective Pierce for a while? It's like the broken hearts killer strikes again. Stop calling him that. What's the problem? Because you never know when something stupid like that's going to stick. Come on. That'll never stick. <laughs> it's in the paper the next morning. Yes, it is. That was quite the concert. Yes, I can't remember the last time I went to a show that was so, uh... Loud. So loud! I... <laughs> they totally boned. <gasps> what? And they just went to the Azara concert. It's a natural aphrodisiac. Well, if you're a pimply millennial, perhaps, but the detective is a grown woman. Oh, my God. Hmm. You are totally freaking out right now. About this coming between you and Chloe. Don't be preposterous. I have a thought. I'm working on it. What you and Chloe have is on a total other level. Exactly. Nothing is changing. Nope. So, Ella's never caught on that Lucifer is that into Chloe? So when can we do it again? Um, uh, a, co a concert or? I was thinking something quieter. Mm-hmm. Maybe dinner? Just the two of us. Weren't you saying that you didn't want Hey, to? Chloe, I just wanted to, uh... <laughs> Dan interrupts them. Dan interrupts them. Well, we, uh, we have a case. Double murder. Some couple found in the park. We have a lookout off Griffith Park. Super creepy. Scene hey. by the sounds of it. Mm -hmm. Cup, you're right there. Hands being held. What would I like? I mean, I would like to know what my father's next test is. I feel pretty confident that I passed the last one, but what's next? And what am I supposed to do in between? Or is that in itself a test? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna... Wow. Wait, has Aminadil not seen her since? Since the before times? Mom! Mom! 
Lucifer said that you were gone, that, that he used the flaming sword and sent you into another universe. Minadil! What are you doing back here? Uh, were you not filled in? Was he not filled in? I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. No, wait. You know Lucifer. You said Lucifer. So you do know me. But I have to go. Well, if this was a test of Minadil, you failed. You failed. I realize it's none of my business. You're right, it's not. But Miss Lopez thinks you're bound. <laughs> I uh, simply thought you should know. We just went to a concert, you know? It's not a big deal. You're right, that's what Dr. Linda said too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you and I are partners, detective, and nothing can come between that. Prepare yourselves, people. Wow. <laughs> uh. Uh. Looks like they were drugged unconscious, and then someone literally smashed their chest in. Do we know how they were drugged? Ew. Ah. The killer was clearly trying to send a message. That he couldn't stand this couple's relationship. <laughs> wow. Which one of them was married? Well, no wedding rings, so neither of them, obviously. But who, who's got an impression? Has anyone checked their chest cavities yet? Because <gasps> that's where the rings are. He was known for making his victims swallow their wedding rings. Right. The Broken Hearts Killer. And didn't uh, Hoffman die a few days ago in prison? Making him a particularly useless addition to this conversation. Unless his death inspired a copycat. According to their social media profile, Rachel was single. Robbie was married. We need to talk to the spouse. Ah. Uh, wow. Wow. You grab the backpack, I'll grab the brownies. Yeah. What's, um... Wow. Maze, are you home? Um, Maze... <gasps> Daddy, there's someone in her room. What's oh this? no, oh, Maze! Bad. You allowed this to happen in Trixie's room. I see you found the bed. It's a big deal. The big deal, Maze, is that you live with a nine-year-old. Ooh. Did I make Dad mad? Yes. Clean up. I don't want to have to tell Chloe about this. You know there are some things I can tell Chloe too. Remember when we had a guy killed? That was fun. Stand up, Joe, Dan. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but whatever it is, figure it out. Because she put Trixie in harm's way. I know what you're doing. I'm getting ready to question a suspect. And I hate to break it to you, Kane, but there's only room for one immortal in the detective's life, and that position's already been filled. Oh, he's taking his claim. He's taking his claim. Sadly, there's just no room for a third. Hmm. What happened to the whole wanting to die thing? I had a change of heart. I'm sorry if I upset you. I didn't think you two were a thing. We're not a thing. We're partners. Well, if that's all it is, then you've got nothing to worry about, do you? Mm -hmm. But... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I prefer standing anyway. <laughs> Four months ago, your husband reported that you slashed his tires, then. Ooh! Neighbors saw you throwing rocks through his window and then just laughed. So. So they were separating. But I was upset. I just found out Robbie was cheating on me. Well, completely understandable. I mean, what else are you supposed to do when some parasite inserts himself into your relationship? <laughs> we chose to divorce amicably. Well, she's obviously lying about her relationships and the murders. Please tell me I'm not the only one who sees that, Detective. I think we can't take Emma's word at face value. Another couple was just found dead holding hands, this time in a cheap motel. Ugh. Lieutenant, we need you on this case. But, and I normally love threesomes. <laughs> He's such a big baby, isn't he? Oh, and the news crews are there. Ooh. I couldn't remember if they were there in the last one. They were drugged unconscious before the killer took something really big and really hard and literally... Bludgeoned their hearts. Mm -hmm. And then moved them here and staged this whole scene. Moved them? place was wiped clean, just like the first crime scene. I mean, this killer, you guys, whoever he or she is, total pro. They're at least big enough to be able to drag bodies. 
No one knew how the original killer chose his victims. I guess we just got lucky we caught him when we did. Wait. <gasps> the LAPD. We don't have time for luck. <gasps> so how did he solve it the first time? You burned in my table. I've got you figured out, you know. You could work anywhere. Your office, your home, but you choose to work in this bar. Because he doesn't want to be alone. Because you don't actually want to be alone. Then why do I sit by myself? Maybe you feel like you don't deserve the company. Well, look who's the detective now. Never ceases to amaze me the lengths people will go to when they want to make something just right. Like when people come into the bar for a special occasion, like a birthday or a proposal. A proposal at the bar? <laughs> what if the killer scoped out their location a week before and I found this? Hmm. He's been spotted in front of the original killer's house. Let's go. Listen, I know we're not exactly speaking right now, but there's something that I need to tell you. Now, don't freak out. But uh, Charlotte Richards is back. They haven't told him. They haven't told him. Wow. It's really kind of you to come all the way over here when you must be dealing with such a shock yourself. You knew. 18 yeah. episodes and nobody told him. A few times. I don't know. Maybe here. You're treating her, Linda. I assumed you knew. For the last time, man, please, please quit taking pictures of my house. Oh. Hey, this place should be a freaking landmark by now. Do you know who lived here? A great artist, man. Who are you? A great artist? Oh, this guy. He was from Zoe. Zoe's Infinite Playlist. Wow. Sorry you had to witness that. Wow. He's got merch. Ready for what? For the wonder that is the Broken Art Store. Duh. You guys are my three o'clock, right? Ew! But by the time I realized that she wasn't mom, it was too late. I think that maybe she deserves to know the truth. I understand that you miss your mom and that you didn't get to say goodbye. Mm-hmm. She's fragile. So what are you saying? I'm saying if you really want to help Charlotte, you'll stay away. Hoffman's iconic craftsman home is just blocks away from what I like to call... I guess there are... serial killer tours, like Jack the Ripper tours, but that's been... Hundreds of years, and wow, they're on scooters. Ask me, it was only a matter of time before someone picked up where the original killer left off. You know, someone special, someone who knew there was a need for what he did. But this new guy, he's just sort of a cheap copy. Whoa, this new guy is not the original, okay? But he is a damn sweet cover. Get some little details right down to the interlocking fingers, Detective Decker, LAPD. How would he know is the interlocking fingers? That information wasn't public yet, was it? No, it wasn't. I'll meet you back at the precinct. Oh, the bar. Is she... Hmm. You burned on my table. Okay. No! Was that his door? I get it. I look just like my grandmother, but this is taking things too far. Ooh. I'm sorry. I knew her back in the day. You knew her back he in the day? knew her. How old were you? Like two? I'm older than I look. That's actually how my grandparents met. Gramps was a cop and he met Nana when she was waiting tables. Oh! Oh! That's so cute! Kay married the cop who solved the Broken Hearts killer case. He caught the guy red-handed, staging bodies in the Chavez Ravine. True, but he never revealed how he chose his victims. It drove Gramps crazy, so he kept at it even after he retired. Where's Ray these days? Oh, pumpkin. Uh, Gramps passed about six years ago. And her? It followed a little after. Let's find something that's more challenging, you know? More us. You know, I'm kind of finding Lucifer a bit annoying in this episode. <laughs> hey. Right, can you fast forward to the part where you smashed the couple's chests in? Wait a minute. You you think I'm the copycat? 
Why do you think you're there? You know things about the case that no one else could know. Oh my God. Now I'm actually part of the investigation. Oh, jeez, I owe McMillan now. Yeah, yeah, Officer McMillan offered advice. He's helped me out throughout the years. And when these new killings started happening, well, I bought some photos off of them, and it was the best 400 bucks I've ever spent. <laughs> he bought photos of the new case? Is that what he just said? Eh. The school called. Apparently, Tracy gave pop brownies to Miss Benson for teacher <gasps> appreciation day. Well, did she appreciate them? No, she didn't. Make oh, no. Our one red line is our daughter and things like this cannot happen. Or what? Douche. You're out. You're out. Fine. I'll move out. Since none of you want me here anyway. That's not what I'm saying. No. And I am sick of your goody two-shoes ex-wife and that stupid little brat of yours anyway. <gasps> you would let Trixie hear you say that? Ah, oh, maze. Classy. So Neil isn't our killer. Hmm. Who illegally obtained crime scene photos. So we don't have any suspects. Macmillan? What is your problem today? My problem, detective, is that we don't need a third party interfering with our partnership. You know what, maybe it's best if I meet Pierce alone. We don't have time to make this about you. There is a serial killer on the loose. About you again. <laughs> it's always about Lucifer. <sighs> Sayonara, broken art killer. Oh, Ray was actually one to catch him, but I'm happy to drink to that anyway. Now, maybe you can take me on a real date. And she did. She did want to go out with Pierce. <clears throat> Let me guess. You already have your next case. No, not this time. He's heading to Chicago. I'm transferring out of state. Transferring? You have these walls up, and I thought it was part of your whole tough guy act, but now I see what it is. If you don't learn to open up, nobody will ever love you. I know. Your mentor, look at all this stuff that he found. Like, look, these call logs. There's gotta be a picture of Pearson there somewhere called into the Dear Dottie radio show. That was a radio show about love and relationship advice. So the question is, what radio show would that be now? Oh my God, Chance's Chocolates? I'm obsessed. Chance brings someone on who thinks their spouse is cheating. And then he calls the cheater, pretending to be a candy shop, giving away free chocolates as a- Oh, that's like the Jubal show up in Seattle. Row are the roses. So we need to make ourselves the target and flush the killer out. Great idea. Decker and I'll do it. We'll give out my home address and lure the killer there. Sure. Or a safe house or someplace or... Since that's been sorted, I assume my services are no longer needed. I, actually, there is one more piece of the sting we'll need. And we are here with our jilted lover, Lucifer. Now, first off, what is up with that name? <laughs> As if that is not a very well-known name now. You're late. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Traffic was just awful. Stop. Mm. I ordered a pastrami. Is this pastrami? No, it is not pastrami. Now get out of here. Good God. Good God. He was now going to tell us all about his girl, Chloe. Uh, right. Well, um, she's my partner. <gasps> Work. Oh, so it's a workplace thing, huh? When Who's of her? He You'd be better at this. <laughs> the time with our new boss. Cheating on you with the boss? Oh, that's love. Yeah, we are going to send a free box of chocolates to uh, your special someone. If you have a special someone somewhere. Please don't give out real names. Please don't give out real no names. Perfect timing. Um, as we're having um, a date night tonight. Oh, wonderful. All we need then is his name and address. What is it about uh, this uh, guy that gives you the goosebumps? Uh... Yeah, um, you didn't have that prescripted. He's he's very handsome. Um, well, he's very brave, and we both care about the same sorts of things, like well, doing what's right and uh, and helping other people. Hmm. Sometimes chocolate can be dark, but you know what? Isn't it better to always know the truth? Oh, he oh, went. He, he went. 
You have a rock collection? Well, the thing about rocks is they're old. They never change. Wow. I've taken one from all the places I've visited. Wow. In a lot of places. Wow. Gather no moss and all that. I know I don't have a lot of things, but what I love about But he carries around boxes of rocks with him wherever he goes. Hey, you guys all set? Look at Dan's there. Coach is clear on my end. Ah, thanks. Oh gosh, Lucifer! Don't distract him! Coming in for this one. I wasn't, but ten. Oh yeah, okay. This would be a person to ask about Chloe. How did you move on from the detective when I showed up and replaced you? And please, don't say him You didn't replace me. <laughs> Look, I get it. Dan used to wear suits and had a bit of a swagger about him. But then I realized you had nothing to do with why my marriage ended. You and I are different people. We each have our own relationship with Chloe. Once I came to terms with that, I was fine. Um, Marcus, maybe we shouldn't do this. Are we too visible? No. <laughs> I mean you and me. You know, we work together and things could get weird. Yeah, he's your boss. He's your boss. You're a good man. And I really like you. I, I need somebody who can let me in, and I just don't know if that's... Oh, yeah, because he's Mr. Super, Super Thick Walls. Hello, shadowy figure. Here to spoil the date. Wow. Mm. Pastrami boy. What are you talking about, dude? I'm here for the show. The show, I, I, I try to film the angry ex busting in on their spouse. Like, you, and then I put it up on my website as a bootleg after show. Ew. The only reason I'm interning is so I can get access to those tapes, and I post those tapes raw and unedited on my website. Unedited? Unedited. Without the addresses censored out? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what unedited means. And he's now an, an, an attention accessory to murder? Well, don't leave Chloe and Pierce there alone. Well, we know Pierce can't die. But with you, Chloe, I don't want those walls up anymore. I don't want to run anymore. I have a thought. <laughs> Chloe? You all right? Open the window! Chloe. Chloe. <sighs> she doesn't have a wedding ring though. Oh, that's why he bought that house. Too bad. If you started with him, I would have let you swing. <laughs> I, I did this for you. I didn't ask for this. But you deserve it. Who? Oh. Journals hidden in the attic. Oh. He understood how hard it is to lose someone you care about. We wanted to show the world that you you can't just. His wife left him. I take it. You don't get to decide who someone wants to be with. And neither do I. Does this mean you're, you're not, you're not going to kiss her? <laughs> oh my god, are they okay? They're fine. Fine. I'd like you like you, detective. I would have, I would have handcuffed our killer first <laughs> before I turned my back on him. I'm in a deal. Stalker much? You are following me. Honestly, this is just um, all. It's really a, all a big misunderstanding. You don't understand what it's like not remembering what you did. All I want is the truth. You can't handle the truth. You were my mom. In another life? Please, have a seat. There's, I don't. Uh, there's so much to explain. <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, meanwhile, heartbroken Trixie just left on her own. Who was watching Trixie when they were doing Olga. this? Do oh, Olga. Sorry. I okay. That Mays okay. was going to be here watching Trixie. She said mean thing to me, and then she go. Ugh. What do you mean she go? 
she take her knives and she <laughs> move out. Look, I know that I've been acting... Insecure? Childish? Possessive? Well, I was going to say strangely, but... <laughs> because I've realised that there's room in your life for all sorts of relationships. Please, be careful. Do you want to stay? I can make some coffee and we can... Oh, I can't, unfortunately. There's a bachelorette party at Lux and... Well... Wow, he knew a way to shut down her feelings right away, didn't he? Dinner sounds great. How about tomorrow? That's perfect. He's at the bar. Someone special, I assume? Yes, she is. And for the first time in my life, I'm going to go for it. She's the key to finally getting what I've always wanted. What does that mean? Don't tell me. What does that mean? Right, so that was my thought, was after, again, millennia that Pierce King, King Pierce, has been around, you would think at the early days, he might have like, okay, I'm immortal, I'll live forever, I will wine, dine, experience life, falls in love a few times, and then after a while, he watches people die, <laughs> his loved ones die or whatnot, or they get older, he does not. So yeah, I was wondering like, why now? Why Chloe specifically? But I think I saw one or two of you mention in the comments how Chloe made Lucifer vulnerable, his love for her. So I guess he's hoping if he falls in love with Chloe, it'll make him vulnerable. But if that's his reasoning, I he's not really loving her to love her. He's loving her to get something out of it. There's like a hidden agenda to it. And it's not... Sincere? Am I making sense? <laughs> what are they doing to Maze? What they, storytellers, what are you doing to Maze? She's not very likable. She could struggle with some things, but oh, take it out on Trixie. No. No. <laughs> and I'm still stunned. <laughs> Menadil. Now, were we told he was told? No. Were we told that he wasn't told? No. But how did he not hear? How did him, Melinda? Not go on one of their dates and she didn't say oh, I was struggling because Charlotte was here. <laughs> no one <laughs> whispered. Dan, nobody whispered nothing. <laughs> if this was episode three or four or five of the season. Okay, fine. 18. 18 episodes in. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get a Chloe and Pierce matchup. Okay. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Episode 18. Okay, so I know we're getting close to when all the episodes get jumbly. So as we go along, I guess, okay, 19. I'm guessing 19 is next. So the next episode, 19, Orange is the new maze. Uh, I'm guessing maze ends up in jail. So if Orange is the new maze is the next episode, cool. I'm going to take consensus going forward to see if that is the correct episode we go with next. But until then, until next time, do not be strangers. Please hit subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Are you enraged? <laughs> I don't know. But also, this is your reminder to stand up, drink your water, gargle, um, go eat something, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.